always take your breaks. I think that title is fairly self-explanatory, but we're going to get into what that means. Basically, it's just if you have a if you have a break, if you're given a break, take the time, rest, do something you enjoy, do something unrelated to the thing that you were doing. Take the break, treat it as an actual break from whatever it was that you were working on. Hey, I'm Isaac Shano Johnson. If you don't know me, I'm a musician, composer, producer, and I make videos about all that fun stuff. Music, music composition, music production. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to see videos like this in the future. Okay, always take your breaks. I am a huge fan of the Pomodoro technique or the Pomodoro method. It's basically like a productivity technique or method to get yourself being a little bit more productive and using your time more efficiently. The main idea is that you work for 25 minutes, you put on a timer, and you work intensely for those 25 minutes. After that timer goes off, you take a five, 10 minute break. Always take that break and you do something unrelated and then you go back to work with another 25 minute timer. And you repeat that a number of times, maybe three or four, and then you take a longer 15, 20 minute break and then you continue that again. And if you do another three, maybe you take a 30 minute break. So you're kind of spacing out your time where in the course of an hour, you're only really working for 50 minutes but you're working really intensely in those two chunks and it gives you enough time to sort of not get burnt out, not get tired of doing the same thing. I'm a huge, huge fan of doing this and I've found that for me personally, it really helps me stay focused and stay on task and in a lot of ways get more done than if I'd tried to just work through an hour and a half. What I've learned in doing this is I think that that five minute break or whatever break you're given is just as important as the work that you do when you're actually working. Taking that break, taking time to relax, taking time to do something other than what you're working on, give yourself a change of pace is just as important as doing all of the work, right? You need to be focused, you need to be getting stuff done, but if you're so focused and so getting stuff done, so in that zone that you kind of get tired and then you forget what you're doing and you can't really concentrate and you need to take a longer break, that's worse in a lot of ways than just taking a five minute break now. If you work through that break, you run the risk of sort of exhausting yourself where you can't really concentrate a whole lot and you can't work as efficiently and you can't focus and you can't get stuff done as quickly. And you don't want that. If you want to get stuff done over the long period of time, let's say six hours, you wanna make sure that you can focus and get as much done in that six hours as you can. And I found that just giving myself that timer of, okay, I'm going to set aside 20 minutes, I'm going to get this done. I can focus more knowing that I have a break coming up, knowing that, oh, I just need to do it for 25 minutes, right? 25 minutes is pretty easy. That's a pretty manageable amount of time. That's a pretty small, short amount of time too. So I can give myself enough time to focus, do the thing, get it done. And I know that I can do whatever else I want afterwards, or I can take a break and do whatever thing I want to do during that break. I've also found that in that five minute break, doing something unrelated and as unrelated as possible can really help and sitting on your phone doesn't really help because you're probably sitting in the same place, but getting up and doing something completely unrelated can help. For example, if you're editing videos or editing music on a computer and you're sitting down, get up, go for a walk, sit outside, get a drink of water, that's your five minute break. Then you're ready to come back and sit down because it's so unrelated. But sitting on your phone, the times I've done that, sat on my phone when taking a 25 or five minute break after a 25 minute timer, I don't feel refreshed. I don't feel like I took a break because not much changed. But sometimes I'll, rather than getting up, I'll just turn, pick up my guitar, play guitar for five minutes, or sit at my piano, play piano for five minutes, then go back to editing music or recording music or editing a video or whatever it is. And that has helped a whole lot in helping me get more stuff done a little bit more efficiently than if I were to try and concentrate on that just what one thing for an hour and a half. I've also noticed that it's important to take that break even when you don't feel the need to. Um, I know if you're working intensely on something, you can kind of get in this zone of like, yeah, I'm killing it. I'm doing great. I'm getting so much stuff done right now. And then your 25 minute timer goes off and you're like, dang, I'm still in the zone though. What do I do? Take the break still, because you're probably going to feel just as good afterwards. And it can prevent you from working for just 45 minutes, getting exhausted and needing an hour break so that then you can keep working through. You do a 25 minute timer, five minute break, another 25 minute timer, five minute break, 25 minute timer. Then you take a 15 minute break. You've worked for quite a long time and gotten a whole lot done, 
versus just 45 minutes and then you need an hour break, right? You can get a whole lot done in a short amount of time if you can just get yourself to take that break, move on, do something unrelated, come back later, and then focus. It also helps if you do this to schedule in the estimates for when you'll get something done or how much time it'll take you to get something done. Schedule in your breaks. When you think of how long it's gonna take you, think in five minutes less of the amount of time or 10 minutes less of the amount of time so that you're not thinking, oh, I can do this in three hours straight. You wanna think, okay, I can do this in you know, six different 25 minute timers. Uh, that's how I think about it at least and it helps me uh, figure out how many how, how long it'll take me to get something done because I know how much I can get done in one timer and often I'll surprise myself where I'll give myself okay this is going to take me three timers uh, but I end up doing it in two or this will take me three hours but I end up getting it done in three timers because I can focus so much more knowing that I got a break coming up or whatever. Super useful uh, technique if you need to be able to get stuff done quickly or you kind of want to not get so exhausted while working. I find that even though like yes I want to get stuff done more efficiently and I want to work more efficiently and get more done and be more productive it just makes me feel better about getting stuff done about doing something about starting a project because then I'm like oh okay I know that I have a technique where I'll feel good while doing it where you won't get that same level of like tiredness and exhaustion just from like working endlessly and never stopping right using this can just help you feel a little bit better and when you're done working you'll just be like oh yeah okay great i'm ready to do something else you don't have to you know uh, take a day off uh you can just help you keep yourself focused and get a little bit more done while feeling pretty good about it so that's always a plus for me so give it a try always take your breaks hope it's useful all right that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it useful I hope you learned something about music if you did hit the like button hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching i'll see you next time peace <laughs>